I'm coming to you with your favorite show on Don Machi, Unit Review. <laughs> All right, so we've got a bunch of new stuff in the game right now, a bunch of new-ish stuff in the game, um, but let's go over it. Right to left this time, we've got quests. What do we have in the quests? So, um, nothing. We have a heroic trial for um, the worst of the banner. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we do have an Amber Sunflower, um, Tiona... Go ahead and grab that. I believe I have her. Yeah, I have her. I think not, no bonds for her, I don't think. So grab her anyway. She's going to be awesome. Um, Familiar Rush is obviously closed. Um, and then the Data Live banners will be up until 10 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, so they say. So that may be 11 o'clock. I know the time in this game is a little weird. So uh, try to do everything that you need to do by then. All right. Uh, the thing that we have all been anticipating, it has been teasing us for a while, is the Secret Spring. All right, so we have the OVA episodes finally added to the game, Bell Episode 30, so I'm going to have to go ahead and clear that. Um, also, if you guys have not noticed already, there is another icon on the right side of the screen. Um, there is a cutscene. I have already played this. Oh, it's going to play again. Excellent. Um, so we'll see what this uh, this is all about. Um read that up um i guess fells is having visions um it's gonna be huge uh -huh. i didn't really read it the first time i just skipped it so <laughs> i don't really know what this is about i know what the thing is though it's uh it's just a video section of don machi that they're adding which is interesting uh, it just says don Nova videos will be added to this page we'll add them in the future well, with future updates, and we thank you for the kind understanding for the uh, time being. And apologize for the delay. I, I have not heard a single thing about this until now, so it, the delay is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, all right, so into the arena. We have Record Buster. Record Buster, no more Monsterphilia, it looks like. I was hoping maybe, but I hadn't heard anything about it, so I figured probably not. Um... So yeah, Record Buster, popular units are probably not up yet. You guys can go ahead and see. I will check out what the ailment is and put it in the description, so check that out if you are interested. Uh, let's see. Next, next thing. We have the item shop is updated with something. I don't really know what it's updated with. We already have these. Well, I don't know. It's updated, so there's something in there. <laughs> I uh, and then we just have the heroic trial. Uh, that looks like it. It looks like there was really nothing in the shop. All right. Uh, sure, gotcha. Why not? Um, actually, before I do the gotcha, I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and check out if there are any new missions for the Bell episode 30. So they should be probably at the bottom somewhere, I would assume. Um, so I haven't cleared Pope Fertility, but it's fine. Very hard anyway. Up. Oh, I guess there are not any more missions. Uh, for that, unfortunately. All right, now unit review, everybody. Um, do have the third the third week of the free gotcha just reset, so I'll go ahead and draw on that. Uh, no four stars as of yet. This is a unit. Oh, well, I was gonna say I'll just skip it, but it's rainbow, so let's see what we get. Haven't got a four star yet, so I'm excited. I got all dressed up for nothing. Yes! <laughs> yes! I wanted her so badly. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. All right, this was this was amazing. This was so worth it. I wanted her so badly. That was just super, super awesome. Vivid dress. Yes! All right. Anyway... <laughs> now I'm pumped, guys. All right. So I am maybe going to do this banner. We'll see. Uh, I am disheartened by these. Uh, I'm very upset. As you guys probably know, I really, really enjoy the first step being 200 and not guaranteed thing. I do like it a lot because it saves 200 iris. It's only 3,800 instead of 4,000 total because like you guys know, I usually only draw on banners that I'm going to draw all 10 steps on. However, these, I was just going to get the first draw. Uh, I have every unit on these banners. I'm pretty sure except, um, 
this Hestia, except Paradise Mood Hestia, and I super, super want her. Uh, she's like the only unit on these that I super wanted and have not gotten. Uh, and I don't need her per se, but I do really want her, so I was going to do the first step. And I might still do the first two steps, but it just sucks. It really does. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this. This is unfortunate. The new gotcha has, uh, is missing the seventh step guaranteed, just like the Artemis banner. I do not like that they are doing this. And another thing to note is that you can draw the paid banner twice, and that just kills me that they're doing this. It kills me. But whatever. I guess if they feel that they need to make a little bit more money, that's fine, I suppose. I don't like that you do this, though. If... You guys are watching this. Please stop. Please stop doing this. Give us a seventh drawback. Like, but it, it doesn't even look like she might be the only um, unit that you can get off the guarantees. I don't know. If she's not, I'm going to be super mad, but we'll see. Let's go into details. So we have Faithful Mage, Line Arsh. I don't, that may be how you say her name. She's cute anyway. All right. So that's a plus we have she's a balanced type and let's go ahead and check her out well actually let's check out uh only of the newly added four star unit very broken english but we get it uh so yeah only you can only get the her you can only get her um on the guarantees which is i guess i mean it's the same as artemis it's whatever anyway Let's check her out. Balance type, magic 1219, so she's going to have her abilities are going to be magic. Um, Blinding Chant is her special arts. and allies, ultra HP heal and light attack damage plus 65% for one turn. Um, ultra HP heal, that's pretty crazy. Uh, and light attack damage plus 65%. Dude, oh my gosh. I kind of need her. That's insane. That's super good. Uh, it, it sucks that it's not a special. However, uh, in certain situations, buffs like that are better than the specials. Like, for instance, um, or are better than attacks. For instance, we have a photo. If you guys remember from back in the Kino, uh, Kino's Journey collab, photo does, I think, minus 30% resistance for everything. And that's pretty crazy because she's just really good utility. Uh, and her special arch is really good for that. Anyway. She has a single target high light magic attack with strength and magic minus 40% for four turns. Good lord. Um, allies mid HP heal and counter rate minus 30% for two turns. Okay. <laughs> and allies fast increase special arts gauge charge by gain by 33% for four turns and foe low light magic attack. What? <laughs> Fat allies increase special art. Okay, this power. This is ridiculous power creep. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. She has a. She has the ability that the New Year's Tione has. She has the ability that we've seen a c couple of times so far, where you can charge your special arts gauge. I think it's by 66% for them. I could be wrong, but it's 33% for. Everyone and it's ridiculous. I don't understand how it, the, the fact that this is all allies is just insane um, So you can increase your special arts charge by um, 130% 132% I guess Every turn so it's like over double so whereas uh, normally I think you charge a special arts in four turns uh, You would charge it in two which is insanity could you imagine the record buster damage, uh, that's just crazy. Uh, or war game, like this could be good for war game too, which is crazy. But the single target attack with the magic and strength, uh, forty percent down is record buster for sure. That's insanity. Uh, I definitely want this unit. Yeah, that's insane. Also, familia events. Can you imagine uh, if we had this? for the day to life family event that ugh, just insanity i usually don't like units this much but like this is insane um i don't i honestly don't think they should have added this to the game to be honest with you this is insane uh but we do have her and she unfortunately only has three guarantees uh anyway 
that is her. I'm going to briefly go over the Onsen banner because you guys probably already know what they do. They've been, been in the game for quite a while. But, yeah, I definitely need line. She's actually going to be amazing. I hope that's how you say her name. If it's not, crucify me in the comments, please. Um, let's go ahead. My nose is really itchy. Let's go ahead and check out these. Um, Lily, I don't know if they've gotten buffs. I'm assuming maybe they'll, they either just got buffs or are getting buffs, uh, because of the new release. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see, I guess. Uh, she is a 1373 magic, which is decent for a magic attack type. Um, she has a... How much was lines? I need to go check that real quick. Sorry. Um, twelve nineteen. Yeah, I was gonna say that's actually pretty decently high for a balance type. That's crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and check. Not that. Look at my one paid iris. Um, check this. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Magic attack type thirteen seventeen. Uh, Ultra Earth, Magic Attack with 40% stun. I don't know what these did before, so I don't know if they've gotten buffs. I apologize. Uh, Foes, High Earth, Magic Attack, and Earth Resist, minus 30% for two turns. High Earth, Magic Attack, and Earth Resist, minus 40% for two turns. That's just a single target version of that that's slightly better. And then Self Avoids KOX1 when HP is above 20%. Removed one below 20%. So, uh, this looks like it's probably gotten buffed. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like they probably did what they did with, like, the Chloe uh, when they released her on the banner, on the uh, uh, guaranteed banner or whatever. Anyway, um, invite to Onsen. Uh, we, okay, so Onsen, Chikusa, uh, balance type, magic 980, strength 1131. She's going to be a physical attacker. We have allies, ultra HP, heal, and heal. Plus 50% for four turns, uh, so that's pretty sick, uh, except it's just Lily's heal, except better, a lot better, but it's an SA, so, you know. Foes, mid-earth physical attack with temporary strength boost and physical resist minus 25% for three turns. I could not say that. Um, so, that's cool. A physical resist minus 25% for three turns. Um, debuff for your opponents with a mid uh, physical attack, a mid earth physical attack. That's actually pretty cool. Um, with stack it with like the new Hestia, the the new Data Live Hestia, for example, and that's forty percent uh, physical resist down for your opponent, which is really sweet. So I mean, that'd be pretty cool for physical teams. I, that, that has to be a buff. I did not know that was a. I did not know that's what she did. That had to be buffed. I could be completely wrong. Completely wrong. But anyway. Foe, high earth, physical attack of 40%. Seal, that's cool. I wish it was AoE. If it was AoE, that would be broken. Um, it could not be 40% 40, 40 if it was AoE, though. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, allies, magic resist plus 40%, and thunder resist plus 20% for two turns. So for, like, thunder of area, uh, that's a thing, right? I don't know. She'll be good. She'll be good for that if that's a thing. <laughs> um, but sweet, yeah, that's going to be pretty decent. Uh for like Thunder Reveria, if I don't, know, I don't really pay attention to the Record Buster elements that much. I know we've gotten a lot of light and dark lately, and I know that we get fire every once in a while because I love that one. Anyway, um, strength minus 20% at maximum break, 15% before that. Pretty, we all know what she does. Pretty basic. All right, she's the only one I want though, so. <laughs> all right, let's check out the other units. Eyes? Magic 1219. I, I'm not really reading their agility because I feel like all their agility is trash. Let me go see what uh, Lily's agility was over here. Lily's agility is 767. Not very good. Um, yeah, anyway, let's check it out. Okay, 1219. We have, she's a balance type. We have. Foes Ultra Wind Magic Attack and Wind Resist minus 40% for four turns. So, you know, we have seen a bunch of a little wind support lately. So, you guys can do with that what you want. Uh, I don't think we have enough to warrant really a great wind team right now, especially since one of the best wind uh, units we have is um, a crossover unit, Attack on Titan Eyes. So, you know. We're not be we're not gonna be getting that back, so I, I don't I don't know if I would invest in this really. 
So foe's mid wind magic attack uh, with magic resist and heal minus 25% for two turns. So heal down, that's cool. We've been seeing some of that lately. Uh, foe high wind magic attack and 40% sleep. 40% sleep is cool. I wish they would start giving uh, AoE instead of single target. Single target ailments literally just suck. Uh, because they're not good in war game because you need to put ailments on the entire team uh, to increase the chance. And they're not good in record buster because you can't put ailments on the record buster bosses. So it just doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> allies physical resist plus 40% for three turns. So she's kind of like the opposite version of um, Chikasa. I think Chikasa uh, on the other banner. Anyway, now we have Asfi. Uh, <laughs> funny story, when I first started this game, Asfi soon went up on the Raid Up banner, and that is the only one and only Raid Up banner I've ever done, except the C Ceremonial Flame Hestia one. I did do that one. That one was justified, though. I just didn't know what I was doing at this point, and uh, yeah, that, that happened. So anyway, I do have her. <laughs> not worth. Don't do that. For any of you new players, do not do that. Uh, but anyway, anyway, she is a 1465 in strength. That is a pretty good strength stat. So she had to have been buffed. There's no way she wasn't. 808 in agility. Yeah, she was definitely buffed. Uh, like I said, they weren't probably weren't buffed. I'm going to look like an idiot, but she definitely seems buffed uh, at the very least. So fo foes ultra water physical attack with temporary strength boost. Uh, foes... So, very basic. Foe's mid-water physical attack with temporary strength boost and magic minus 20% for four turns. So, we are seeing magic teams in war game. We are seeing a lot of brutal magic teams in war game. So, this might help you with that. Magic minus 20%. You can put another magic debuff on there if you would like. And that would be, um, put them at magic minus, like, if you have the other one maxed, it would be, like, magic minus 20%. Uh, with just this Makoto at level 60, it'd be magic minus... 35%, I think it's a 20, but 40%, and then, you know, magic minus 35%. That was probably super hard to follow, but you guys hopefully know what I'm trying to say. Um, but this would be a decent on a water team to slow down. Magic teams, although I probably wouldn't invest in it, like I said. If anything, I'm just going to do the first two steps to get the guarantee. Foe high water physical attack with temporary strength boost and 40% seal, again with the single target ailment. Uh, uh, anyway. Self null physical attack X2 except special arts. So we have seen that before. Obviously, we had it on Chloe, and I'm sure other things too. But I know we have it on Chloe. I think it's our special arts though. Anyway, on to Makoto. We have magic minus 20% at uh, MLB and magic minus 15% before MLB. So that is going to be all for these units. We do have a paid banner. I'm assuming for each one of them. Uh, yeah. I want the Hestia. I will probably, probably not be wailing on these. Uh, do keep in mind the crossover units disappear tonight, so I'll probably not be wailing on these. However, um, you never know. So, or on her anyway, but you never know. She is super good. Um, so we'll just kind of see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. Um, I'll probably be making a summon video uh, at least until number four, uh, until pull four. I might just go ahead and do that, to be honest, uh, pretty soon. But at least through the fourth pull, and we'll see what happens after that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped out. So if you are trying to decide, I would not recommend doing past the first steps or if you need the, the assists. I think the assists are the best parts if you do need them. Uh, go ahead and summon for them. However, um, I don't think that the units are particularly worth going in for. I do think that line is especially very freaking good. I think that she is especially good. She's super good. And um, yeah, especially if you like Record Buster, she is super worth. Familia Events, super worth. I do think that she's going to be in sanity. Uh, but anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.